Good morning, friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day as I'm so excited. I'm like, I don't know that I can calm down enough to do this. So I'm just going to read it and I haven't written anything. But I will give it away. Just today, 128. I will give strength. No. I give strength to the weary and increase power of the weak. You live in the world where weakness is often pitied or even despised. People spend vast amounts of time, energy, and money on efforts to strengthen their bodies. They also use various stimulants to avoid or disguise weariness. However, weakness and weariness are simply part of the world of living uh, part of what? Part of living in a fallen world and in a fallen body. I invite you to come into my presence confidently with all your weaknesses and weariness. I have an experiential understanding of fatigue because I live in a world. I live in your world for 33 years. You can let down your guard with me and admit how tired you really are. Take time to be with me, basking in the light of my love. As a face shines upon you, God blesses you and gives you peace. Do not, do not half skimp on that time with me or use it to strengthen your sp I really don't know what this is supposed to say. Mm -hmm. I've seen all that time. Or use it to strengthen use it to strengthen you spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Lift up wide open arms asking my presence to pre present what? <laughs> okay, I really <laughs> Be prepared to receive abundantly joy, peace, unfailing love. And then the Bible verses are, The Lord gives strength to the weary and increases power over the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who are hoping in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar upon wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 29 through 31. And then, The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance, know his countenance upon you and give you peace. Numbers 6, 25 through 26. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me from your unfailing love. I think that's wrong. But there is today's devotion with so many typos. It's not even funny. And I thought I did good. What's going on? But anyways, have a great day, guys. God bless you and keep smiling. Thank you.